Okay, this is a reading for Sagittarius. So for whoever's watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, there will be an extended, okay? So that will be under the video, how to get that, only $8. Okay, so I'm going to pull some of these cards I made a while back. It says, I shouldn't have listened to my friends and family, okay? And then listen to your gut. Okay, so somebody allowed some people to get into their head. Instead of listening to their gut, uh, they listen to other people. So you have somebody here, it sounds like they're regretting listening to others when it came to you. They should have listened to their intuition. It says, nosy energy is around you. And I can feel your energy all the time, baby. Love, bae. <laughs> okay. So somebody is feeling you, even though you guys are apart. Um, you may be even still together. I don't know. But somebody feels you constantly. Um, and there's somebody watching you. There's like a nosy ass energy here that is around you guys. I love the smell of your hair. <laughs> okay, so somebody can't like forget the way your hair smells. It must have been pretty close if they could smell your hair. <laughs> you make my heart sing, baby. It says, I've loved you since the beginning of time. We are from the same star. Love your twin flame. Wow. <laughs> so you guys have a twin flame here who's watching, um, could be stalking you. <laughs> Trying to, they're the one, I feel like they're feeling your energy. You guys are feeling each other. It says, I love you to the moon and back. Love you and protecting you always spiritually. Love your sis. Okay. So some of you guys have a sister who has crossed over who's also watching. And I kept seeing this at the bottom. <laughs> so some of you guys have a dad and a sister who is watching you. Wow. And then they told me to cut the deck and here's a brother. I got your back from the other side. Love your brother. So some of you guys have, this, this is for multiple of you. Some of you guys have a brother some have a sister, some have a father, um, <clears throat> but I'm curious about, um, I'm kind of curious about these two, so let's pull on these, like, like, what is this they're telling you to listen to? So Spirit, why are you telling Sagittarius to, like, listen to their gut? Why are you telling Sagittarius to listen to their intuition? Ten of Pentacles. Could be about family. Could be about money. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Hmm. Some of you guys may, somebody could be juggling you guys. Like some of you guys could be married or something and your spouse could be juggling you or some shit. There's something here about somebody is juggling. But they want to pick you. Yeah, uh, okay. There's somebody who is, there's somebody who's in some type of commitment. I feel like this person could have chose the wrong person. Like, they could be realizing that they're, like, not in love with this person that they're with. Somebody's breaking away from a relationship or marriage or a committed relationship. <clears throat> this person realized, okay, so if something's been telling you somebody's coming towards you, you'd be correct. Like, this person's realizing whoever they're with that it's like too hard. <laughs> like, they're like, this, this, this marriage, this relationship should not be so damn hard. And they want to come where it's not so hard. Because, like, the Eight of Pentacles is reversed. So, they want to come to, like, where you're at because they feel like 
being with you is not hard. Like, it's just easy to be with you. Yeah, this person knows that you're it. So, this person knows you're their soulmate. Okay. Oh, wow. Holy shit. This person's manifesting you. Let me tell you. Look at this down here at the bottom. They know you're the empress, whether you're male or female. <laughs> They're manifesting you. They know that you're their spiritual person. Like, they know that you guys have a spiritual bond. Um, they could have been, like, holding back from you. But they don't want to any longer. They don't want to fight this anymore. And they're realizing they're in love with you, not with who they're with. And this is like stressing them out like no other. <laughs> um, but this person, there's like a lot of fights where they're at. So they're like really confused. And I feel like they're watching you. So you got somebody... If your gut's been telling you that you've been picking up on somebody who's with somebody else, they're about to leave that person to come be with you. But the question is, do you would do you even want this person? Like, you know, I could hear some of you like, bullshit, you can just stay your ass over there with that broad or that guy. <laughs> but it's not just you, but it's also this person. This person is like trying to listen to their intuition because they're like, man. Like, I know I have this bond, this love with Sagittarius, but I'm stuck with this broad or this guy. I just don't know what to do. But they're listening to their intuition. So just be ready. Somebody is coming. Um, They're going to tell you this shit, too. They're, yeah, they're not happy where they are. They could be, like, using alcohol or something to suppress their feelings. Like, they're not happy. It's like they realize they chose the wrong person to be with. Yeah, they're in regret and despair over you. So, who is this nosy-ass energy around? Sagittarius. And that song, I always feel like somebody's watching me. It's playing in my head. Somebody you had an ending with. I'm trying to see if you have options. Well, if you're a cross watcher, I hate to break it to you, but yes, Sagittarius has options. <laughs> you will never meet a Sagittarius that doesn't. I just, I hate to tell you. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're trying to see if you're getting like wish fulfillment. Pisces energy. You rejected this person. Cancer energy. So you pulled back your energy. Like, boy, you are being stubborn. Look at you. You got your arms crossed twice. You're like, bitch, I am not trying to hear what you have to say today. <laughs> like, your legs are crossed and your arms. Like, you are not about it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's like, um, you're holding back. Good. Like, you're doing the right thing. So... <laughs> I see you holding back, but somebody's holding on to you, and they can't let go of you. This person may be stubborn as hell, too, but this is somebody who's, like, selfish. Yeah, they're stuck on you. Pisces energy again. Oh, man. Emperor reverse. <laughs> so this is somebody you were with in a relationship, and they are not happy because they feel like they lost control of you and they feel like they possess you too they feel like they own you by the way oh yeah so they're gossiping about you too so they're not just watching you they're gossiping lots of chatter there with the birds oh lord yeah <laughs> this person is obsessed with you and they they're kind of losing hope they feel like they've lost control of you. We've got Aquarius, Capricorn, Sag, Aries. Oh man, this person. <laughs> I'm laughing because this person, the fact that they've lost control of you, and if, if when they don't hear from you, they freak out. 
So I feel like you're being stubborn and you're like, you know what? I just, I don't want to deal with you today, Satan. And it's so funny because that was the first thought I heard when the, the four of um, cups came out. It's like you were just saying, not today, Satan, not today. Like you're not answering this person's phone calls. So when they call and you don't answer, it, it starts causing them to obsess and obsess and obsess. So you're dealing with somebody who wants to be tied to you. Like, I mean, this person's really obsessive. And when they lose control, when you're not acting right, you're not doing right by their standards, it makes them obsessed even more. Yeah, the, like this person, <laughs> they feel bonded to you. Okay, Cancer Energy, Queen of Cups. So this person loves you. Like they love the love that you give them. Like you put too much love on this person because they're obsessed. Yeah. I feel like you're kind of indecisive. Like you, I feel like some days you want to deal with this person and then other days you don't. And uh, this person gets upset about that. But they don't want you going anywhere. Can't a lot of cancer energy, Leo, Libra. Yeah, this person's definitely from the past, Scorpio energy. This person wants to keep you stuck in the past with them. They do not. Like they do not. I almost kind of stuttered there for a minute. I never do that. So you may be dealing with somebody who kind of has an accent or stutters sometimes when they're nervous. <laughs> like um, I, I can feel this person's energy. Like, the thought of you leaving them just gives them anxiety. Like, that's what I'm kind of feeling, like, in my chest. <laughs> like, it's weird how I'm picking up on this person. Like, I feel like their chest, like, I kind of feel like I, <laughs> like, almost can't breathe at times. So, this person... Like, when they think of you leaving them, oh my goodness, they can't handle it. Yeah, they want you stuck in the past with them. They cannot have you go into the future. Like, see how the stars reversed in the chariot? So, the chariot is the emperor. He gets in his chariot and he goes and searches for his star, his destiny. And then the star is in reverse. So, this person does not want you to go get your destiny. So, this is somebody who is actively like what I call like a um not just a time waster but like a matrix trap like there's somebody they come into your life to latch on to you to um hold you back from like your your destiny Taurus energy yeah this person's not talking to you you're not communicating and they're like that's why I'm feeling this anxiety I feel like you could have been with this person for quite some time, like a year, anywhere from a year to more. Like this wasn't short term. It was at least a year or more. And um, so when you left this person, they don't know how to live without you. Like you being gone is causing this person a great deal of anxiety. Yeah, like this, this person loves you, Gemini energy. <clears throat> yeah, if they were juggling you, like, now they're trying to say they don't want to juggle you. Like, they've realized, like, you're the one. And then here they are stalking you. They have a fear. So, when this person doesn't talk to you, they have, like, a fear that you are, like, out having SCX with other people. So, that's what their fear is. That's why they watch you. That's why they stalk you. They're trying to gather information. And this person's heartbroken. Like I said, they don't know, they don't know how to live without you. This person watches your home. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this person's burdened. They want to come in and offer you like romance. And if there was, like, lies and deception in the past, they're going to try to tell you that they don't want to lie to you anymore. 
They're going to try to offer you a sincere apology. It's because they figured out who you are. This person may have not known who you were in the past. Now they know who you are. Okay. They know you're the Empress. And I also feel like you, you um, <laughs> I feel like you have this person blocked. So they're using like a fake account to contact you or look at you. The King of Wands, Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, and then your energy. So you could really have confused this person when you blocked them. Like you sent them into a state of like frenzy. There, I feel like there's multiple people watching you though. But this person realizes who you are, that you're the Empress, whether you're male or female. They realize they're not going to find another you. So they want to work with you, build with you, Capricorn energy. This person obsesses about you, Gemini energy. This person obsesses about you all the time. Yeah, they're like fantasizing about you. <laughs> um, yeah, what did I say? This is my fantasy. These two cards with that, like this person's fantasizing about you. Um, you know, stuff. <laughs> um, they want to come back and give you equal give and take and right their wrongs. And they, they just hate it when you're, like, ghosting them. So they're doing a lot of soul searching. Um, they don't like this ending between the two of you. So they want to come in and give you good news and tell you that they want to, like, commit to you long term. That was, like, Virgo, Sag, Energy, Scorpio, Pisces. This person, you don't realize how much emotions they have for you. And... They are like having nightmares, nightmares at the thought of you being with other people and having competition for you. So this person hides all of this from you. You may not, you would, this might be somebody you wouldn't even suspect is still freaking out over you. Leo energy, Cancer, Gemini. So that's who's watching you, an obsessed ex. <laughs> Um, I, you know, something tells me that this person has others watching you too, especially if you're blocked, if they're blocked. Oh man, that person's energy needs to go away from me because I didn't like that energy. Like that person felt like they were about to like, I mean, spaz out like full blown anxiety. So what else is coming towards Sagittarius for the month? Okay, look at this. <laughs> this card flipped up like this. So let's see what the hell this is. Oh my God. <laughs> Did I not tell you? Did I not tell you? Okay, that is crazy. This person, oh my gosh. Wow, this is a possessive karmic relationship, obsessive lover. I'm telling you, this person is obsessed. I, I'm telling you, I feel their energy. Like, when they can't talk to you or stalk you or find out what you're doing, like, I felt like this heaviness in my chest. And, and I've never really felt that before in a, in a reading like this for YouTube. Like, sometimes when I'm doing personal readings, I can feel that. But this person... I mean, they feel like they own you. And they feel like they've lost control of you. <laughs> um, so, in March, I feel like you're going to really start to see who this is. And see that this person is not playing about you. Hustling. Making it rain. Focused on money. Yeah, you guys are just focused on your career, work, your goals. And this person is just focused on you. Yeah, you feel like this person is like played out. Like, you're done with this person's tricks and schemes. <laughs> I hope the cross watcher who feels this way isn't watching Sagittarius today. You feel like this person ain't shit. So whoever this is, I feel like you've done giving this person too many chances. Um, you feel like they're played out. You feel like their games are played out. And you're like, bitch, you ain't shit. You, you're just not shit to me anymore. Wow. No wonder this person's freaking out. Ooh, and you guys are unfazed. 
this that's another reason why they're freaking out because you don't even care you you've done what cold you've went cold on this individual yeah what they've done hurt you too many times wow cyber bully you are being bullied online or there has suffered or they they are has suffered from it etc look at this person now see that creeps me out that just creeps me out somebody is watching you guys like obsessing over you like like look at the look in that dude's eyes like he looks like Diablo himself like something's taking over him this person could be a bully not just online but in real life maybe that's why you're just like whatever like come unfazed by you get lost I'm tired of your shit but so you got somebody who's watching you, obsessed about you. Now remember, I'm asking what's coming for March. So these things haven't happened yet. <laughs> like they, they may not have occurred. Running, yeah. That's what you need to do. Take off running. Like, <laughs> And don't be like those people in the horror movies where you take off running and then you trip and shit. <laughs> and everyone's screaming, no, get up, no. <laughs> run away from this if you know who this person is and you know that that this is who they are you need to run and run far like do not don't even look back oh my goodness wow and then you got this shit spiritual hater hating on your spirituality light magic and power and then bankrupt came out with it but it's in the reverse. <laughs> so this is even funnier. Whoever these people are, or this person, it, think about somebody who, so say you was trying to talk to somebody about like what you believe in. Like maybe you believe in tarot or, you know, or um, whatever, you know. <laughs> There's multiple other occult things. This person gossiped about you, slandered you, you know, oh, Sagittarius is into that weird crap, you know, something like that. You have a spiritual hater. But the funny thing is, the more they hate on you, the better you do. Like this person was hoping you'd go bankrupt, but you don't. You, you just keep on being blessed. So it's like the more these people hate on you come like into March, the better off you're going to be. Like they, they try, they, this person could have even tried to bankrupt you and it didn't work. Your finances are going to increase. The more hate they send to you, the better that you do. And the more obsessed that they become. Psychopaths. Look, rejected. <laughs> you rejected this person. No wonder. So I want you to also think about somebody you rejected. Whoever you rejected and you were like, no dice. I'm not dealing with you. This person cannot let go of you they're they're gossiping about you they're talking about you online there could be multiple of them they could be trying to recruit people and you're in this energy of like f off because you know in the original reading when i pulled the tarot a minute ago um it showed the four of cups you had your arms crossed there the nine of cups you had your arms crossed there and then this dude has his arms crossed so you rejected somebody and now they cannot get over you, Sagittarius. And they're out for blood, this person. That what they want is to bankrupt you. So if you are like a fellow YouTuber, TikToker, Instagram, or whatever, and you have something where you do spiritual work online, um, or even maybe at a business, this person wants to bankrupt you. And I feel like they could try to recruit others. So just be careful. Like, oh, well, it doesn't even matter. You don't have to be careful. These people are they're screwed. <laughs> but yeah, somebody is out after you here. They feel rejected. Oh, and then we <laughs> so we have romantic love affair, sex fix, secret lover. Wow. So in March, you may be having like a secret love that you don't tell people about. Now that would be smart because if you do have this this obsessed lover over here that you took off on. Because I'm picking up multiple energies. <laughs> like somebody, the spiritual, the cyber bully, spiritual hater rejected. 
bankrupt. This is somebody you rejected that I don't think you ever even had a, a physical, actual, in-person encounter with. This is somebody who bullies people online, but they're obsessed with you. This person right here, you've actually been with this person in, in real life. Like, you know who this is. They've actually seen you in person. Uh, this right here, I feel like is new. This is a new love coming in here. And I feel like you could end up keeping it. So, some of y'all, I'm hearing workplace affair. Some of you guys may be having a work a work affair. Um, but you're going to keep this a secret. This is like a secret lover. Some of you guys are meeting somebody new and you're going to keep it secret for a while because you don't want like these psychopaths here to find out about this. Dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, <laughs> protected by haters. Wow. You guys really dodged a bullet with, with these people. Like you, you got some negative energy. Really negative energy here. People trying to bullshit you. Somebody just loves to start drama. Fake account, fake social media to spy. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Mm -hmm. I told you. Somebody is out to get you guys online. Like, be careful what you put out there. Um, mm. I mean, like I said, whoever that obsessed lover is, they're using fake accounts. Oh, man. And then we have Boss Daddy, stable, rich, business owner, CEO, Big Dick Energy. <laughs> so, you know, this came out in another reading. I'm going to pull, in the extended, I'm going to pull on this secret affair here. Because I feel like this is either a workplace affair or, I mean, it could be any kind of affair or new love. And then I'm going to pull on this because he came out in another reading. So, I want to see who this is. Some of you guys are having an affair with your boss. And don't act like you're not. <laughs> Come on, don't act like you're not. <laughs> okay, and then we have this happiness hater. So, there is a lot of, ooh, dirty offer. I'm going to pull on this. So, in the extended, I'm going to pull on this dirty offer. This boss daddy. And then I'm going to pull on this love affair. Secret affair. And this obsessive lover. And I'm also going to pull on this spiritual hater because <clears throat> this right here, I feel like is somebody who is also a spiritual worker is what I was being told. And I wasn't even going to say anything, but I'm going to. This is another spiritual worker who is sending dark energy to you. This person doesn't like um, that you could get more like attention than them, unfortunately. But they um, hate on you like they're a spiritual hater. <laughs> um, so they could be jealous of, of your channel or jealous of your spiritual work. This could also be just people around you. So say that like you told friends and family what you do, you know, like they found out you're into tarot or something. Um, they're hating on it. Um, I don't know who this is for. But I literally just, this is some, one of your family members who said this about you, that I heard it was a lady and she said she done lost her mind. So, so people are trying to say that you're crazy. The, the things that you believe in are crazy. <clears throat> so screw them. <laughs> and then we have, um, moving on. Thank you next. So a lot of you are just moving on, getting away. Yeah, look at that. Dust it off. So you're just moving on, dusting it off. Look at this. Giving money. So some of you guys are about to be giving money and getting money in March. And then we have haunted memories, flashback, trauma, side effects. Wow, I wonder what that's about. Haunted. Some 
you guys could feel like your house is haunted or something. Oh, I get it. Okay, somebody's haunted by you. <laughs> um, they're gonna be you could have been in a relationship where you were over giving to somebody and you left. Uh this person's haunted by your memories. They're they're remembering like the you know, everything that went on. So this person's like crying. They're haunted by you. So you're haunting somebody. <laughs> no car repo car issues. Car less. Wow. So somebody's about to be without transportation. And the first thing I thought of is that this could be this person's um, karma. Somebody could be having karma. Yeah, this is somebody who's holding a grudge against you. Love on the brain. Dreaming, fantasizing. Somebody is fantasizing. In their head, overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing. So somebody could be losing their car next month. Spirit, who is this losing their car? You know what I just heard? If you have your own online business or something, what, even if it's not spiritual, somebody uses fake accounts and goes and comments on your stuff to try to give you like bad reviews and shit like that. Um, so in the extended, I'm going to try to, I'll figure out who the hell that is, what sign they are, <clears throat> see who that is. For somebody, I'm hearing that this is like a sister-in-law. Some of you guys have like a sister or a sister-in-law who's jealous of your business, jealous of what you believe in. Um, I feel like she's a stay-at-home mom or something. And she has nothing better to do than to stalk you and cause you problems. That's, that's really sad. I, I've never really gotten that on here before, but that's crazy. Who's going to be without this car? Virgo energy, Ace of Cups, Three of Cups. Wow, I don't know, but I can tell y'all right now, y'all are doing good. With the Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, uh, Three of Cups reversed. Boy, you guys are doing good. This is somebody who's stuck on you and what you're doing. Okay. This is somebody who did not commit to you and they were like very selfish and you let go of them. All they were about was the romance. So they never wanted to commit. They were very selfish, very greedy, and they, they just wanted to have SEX. They just were all about the romance. They could have also had you in a third party. Okay. Okay. This person's car is about to break down. Yeah, you know what? This person could use this as an excuse to get rides from you. You could have been in a family with this person. You could have been... Yeah, this is somebody you left out in the cold, but they're having financial issues. They're going to try to offer you, like, gas money or something to take them around. I feel like you're going to reject them. This is somebody who also asked you for a car or helped to get a car. This is really weird, but, yeah, it's like, um... They were trying to, they're trying to offer you all this shit, and you're like, no thanks, no thanks. But they feel like you owe it to them. For some of y'all, like if your parents, your kid's car is going to break down. This is their karma. This is their, wow, look, this is a lot of kid energy. This is somebody where kids were involved. This person could have used the kids to try to get to you. Something like that. Like, they're mad that you're able to, like, to, like, um, manifest money really easy, and they don't like it. Like, this person's pissed off. 
This is somebody you had an ending with. They could have tried to use your kids against you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this is somebody who's in the devil energy. So whatever they did to you, part of their karma is to lose their car. They were indecisive on you. They didn't make a decision. So it's like now karma is coming. Karma's like, okay, well, the first thing I'm going to hit is your car. <laughs> I, and I'm not laughing. I'm just, I'm laughing because I can see the, the spiritual, um, like the spirit, the spiritual lesson behind this. This person messed with the earth angel. This person could have used their kids to try to get to you. Like they had their kids messaging you. Something like that. Trying to get money out of you or some shit. And you didn't do it. And uh, so karma is going to hit this person. And they're going to be in regret for whatever they did to you. They may even lose their work, I hate to say it, but this person's going to realize by doing you dirty, it's going to cost them a lot of money. Look, every page done came out. Every page done came out and spirits communicating to you like you're going to hear about this when this happens. You're going to hear about this. This person's going to lose some type of money like they're going to feel stuck. You blocked this person. Okay, that's why they're using people to contact you. You blocked this person. Somebody did you hella dirty, Sagittarius. You blocked them, Leo Energy. They used other people to get through to you, or they're going to try to. Like I said, this hasn't happened yet, so <laughs> next month when this happens, remember this video. You're going to hear that they lost a job, or that they lost a car. Um, you know, the kids could say, hey, can you give dad or mom a ride because their car broke down or it's something to get you to go back to them or to get back involved in, with them. Yeah, this is somebody you were with because what better way to sucker you back in than have to be around them every day, giving them a car ride or some shit, you know, it's this damn king of wands, it's this king of wands. Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups. This is a very stubborn individual. I feel like they're this narcissist energy. Something's going to happen to them. And <laughs> you're going to figure this out. Your intuition is going to tell you that whatever they're telling you is bullshit. They're going to hold back the truth. They're going to be lying. But your intuition is going to be on point. You see through these people. These people can no longer fool you. Like, your uh, rose-colored glasses fell off, and you see this person. Yeah, this person, if you get in the car with them, they're going to try to have sex with you. Yeah, oh, this person right here even wants to get you pregnant or have your baby if they can. Oh, yeah. They're very attracted to Sagittarius. <laughs> this person wants to do it to you. Um, they're going to try to use anything. Their car broke down. They lost their job. I mean, they could be out on the street corner by your house with a little sign, I need a ride. <laughs> this person is going to come up with a humdinger for you. So be prepared for March. This person is coming in. And if, if you got them blocked, they'll use other people to contact you. Um, if they have kids or other family members that are young, they'll use them to their advantage. So be aware. And once you get in the car with them, they're going to tell you that they're still in love with you. <laughs> so we're going to move to the extended. I'm going to find out who this obsessive lover is, who this spiritual hater is, what kind of uh, romance affair y'all are having. Or this could be new love. And then I'm going to figure out who this boss daddy is because he, he showed up before. And then this right here should be very interesting because in the month of March, you need to be careful because somebody is going to give you an offer and it's going to sound amazing, but it's going to be a dirty offer and you're not going to figure it out until after you've done accepted the offer and then you're like, oh shit. So we're going to figure that out, who, who that is and what this is about in the extended, okay? So have a good one and thank you guys.